You know the saying, history tends to repeat itself. When it comes to economy and finance we often forget past tragedies, yet useful lessons could be learned by looking at causes and effects. Since more and more people are comparing this health and financial crisis to the Great Depression of the 1930s, this video intends to take you 90 years back in time. Let's see how the Great Depression changed lives and what we can learn from it today. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till end. Also, give it a thumbs up, so YouTube shows this to more people and subscribe to support the channel. Let's begin our time travel. We're in 1918, right after the First World War ended after four years of conflict. As the scars of war are healing, we are entering a period of economic prosperity. This holds true especially for the 1920s, after troops are returning home from the battlefield. Huge infrastructural projects, that were cancelled due to the war are beginning to get velocity and women are beginning to get jobs as well. This means that more people have a job now, have more money to spend and companies are developing at a faster pace than ever. To make things even more fruitful, banks are giving loans basically to everybody which means more people can afford a lot of things. People are buying luxury items and Henry Ford's T-model is sold like hot bread. So people are beginning to see new opportunities. They have money, so they want more and what better place to make more money than the stock market. The interesting thing is that almost everybody is investing now in stocks, many people even putting up all of their life savings on the stock market. Profits don't take long to make, so driven by this enthusiasm people are borrowing more money from banks in order to invest in the stock market. These banks also start investing even by borrowing money from customer bank accounts. As some historians point out, by 1929, commercial bankers were loaning more money for stock market and real estate investments than for commercial ventures. Stocks are rising at incredible pace and companies find it hard to keep up. What's even interesting is that production slows down and people are putting their buying on hold. Interest rates are beginning to rise. But people are still investing in stocks till the point when investor uncertainty begins to rise as well. By the end of 1929 it was obvious that there was a flaw in the system, which was unsustainable. This brings us to October 24, 1929, known in history as Black Thursday, the start of the Great Depression. Uncertainty and panic led investors start selling almost 13 million shares, the Dow Jones falls 12%, tens of millions of dollars are wiped out and some shares become worthless. Many people lose their invested life savings, banks and companies fail and people are losing their jobs at a staggering pace. In 1930 bank failures began in Louisville, then Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, and eventually Arkansas and North Carolina. Depositors tried to take their money out before the banks collapsed, while banks called in loans and sold assets. This meant that credit froze up, leaving less money in circulation, which then led to deflation. That means, that when prices drop, Businesses cut costs, mostly by laying off workers. They then don't have money to buy things, so inventories build up and prices drop further. Because of the fact that banks weren't lending money, companies couldn't pay their workers and many companies went bankrupt leaving behind many unemployed. In early 1929, the US unemployment rate was 3.2% and by 1933, it had soared to 24.9%. The unemployment rate remained above 18.9% in 1938. U.S. gross domestic product was cut in half, from $103 billion to $55 billion and the consumer price index fell 27% between November 1929 to March 1933. The Great Depression was not just felt in the U.S., it was basically a worldwide economic depression that lasted 10 years. Could it happen again? Well, anything's possible. Those central banks around the world are more solid and have learned from the past. Experts argue though, that national debt and account deficit could trigger an economic crisis. The IMF's recent economic outlook report highlights the fact that in 2020 we will likely see the worst recession since the Great Depression. If you are interested in watching the reasons behind the IMF statement, I will put a link in the description to a previous video I made regarding this topic. Thank you for watching and please, don't forget to subscribe.